What's going on everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. Today we're going to talk about the Red Wing Iron Rangers and why I think it's the perfect working shoes. So why do I think that the Iron Ranger from Red Wing is the perfect working shoes well not because it's expensive at 300 uh, something dollars uh, it is not cheap of course and it's something that you probably wouldn't want to get dirty most people that buy shoes over a hundred bucks they rarely get it dirty unless they're working in construction a lot of construction guys buy really quality shoes because they know they'll be on their feet all day long uh, and of course for safety most uh, shoes that are that expensive comes with steel toe boots like my Makto 1907. But why do I still think that the Red Wing Iron Ranger is the best working boot? First, because it is a stylish shoes. This is after all the stylish Grease Monkey channel, right? And uh, so why do, I, why do I use expensive shoes to work on my cars? It's because I just like it that way. I like feeling stylish, right? It is cool enough for the summer, so the heat of the moment, the heat of the day here in uh, Hawaii is around between 75 to 83 degrees daily and uh, this pair of boots right here is perfect for that. Uh, I like wearing pants when I'm in my garage because there's a lot of dust and dirt that gets around um, gets around and stick to your skin and if you don't, you're not wearing pants then most of it lands on your skin and especially me, uh, I, I have very hairy legs and you know the dirt kind of settles on my legs so one is that it's stylish and two it's safety safety it's it's you know over the ankle boots and if i want to jump into my bike then i can just jump into my bike from where i am working at to go get buy parts and things like that thirdly it is just an awesome pair of boots guys i mean you can't beat the silhouette of the iron rangers and how it looks like and what it looks like in any condition right with the exception of going to town maybe going out to to dinner with my wife then I have another pair of, of boots for that another pair of shoes that looks great this is an all-around pair of boots and I think it's awesome that it is an all-around pair of boots really worth for the price that I paid for it I made a video already of why I like this pair of boots but I'm gonna repeat it again for the price they pay for the Iron Ranger it is I think worth the price right at a you know premium leather and you can't beat that price guys I think this pair of boots right here is gonna last me a long time probably even get uh, as the longer I use it and the more patina it gets the more cooler it gets the, the worth of paying that much amount of money for this pair of boots is becoming worth it so the one I have here is the Iron Ranger 8085 with the uh, 430 mini lug Vibram sole it's very tough guys I tell you that uh, I've used this a lot and I know that I'm very clean with my boots and doesn't look like I'm using it but I do use it I do get it dirty but I clean it you know that's just the kind of person I am because I like it looking good when it's seen out in town right I do have dirty boots if you want dirty boots I can show you dirty boots all day long but that's not what I do with these things if, I, if oil gets on it I clean it immediately with soap and uh, just trying to make sure that it's in tip-top shape but as you can see here I use this boots uh, and it, it is uh, it is good you know the rough copper rough and tough is good it it is uh, it patinas really well and uh, I think it's gonna be good for a long time lastly the a085s uh, you know the the eight triple ones back in the days is awesome because of the leather outsole but uh, this mini lug is not bad at all but it is after all all of it is designed to be heritage which is my uh, style anyways you know heritage men's clothing and uh, it is perfect to, for someone like me that that loves heritage clothing workwear and things like that and I do use it guys so real quick as far as the width uh, my my toe box I like the wide toe box of the Iron Rangers uh, but my thing is though my feet is not that wide so I wear the D uh, but for those of you that have wide feet, make sure that you try it on first or uh, buy somewhere where you can return it after you try it. And of course, try it the same. Try it, I would say, in the middle of the day when your feet is at its fattest maybe or the end of the day to make sure that you have room when you buy this pair of boots. I've known of people that uh, return it because it's too tight on them. 
uh, and that's because you really need to break it in and it's hard break in it takes a little while to get it to where you're supposed to be now I, don't, I didn't like the uh, dark laces that came with so I replaced it with this I also had replaced it with the leather laces in the past but the leather, leather laces aren't as tough as the nylon ones. so I now have a light beige or uh, desert color laces on this that's long enough to go around on top and that's how the, the way I like to use them. Thank you for watching my channel. Till next time, aloha.